Ladies and gentlemen, the car I'm reviewing today needs no introduction in terms of outright performance. The Mercedes AMG A45S is the most hardcore hatchback you can get in the country and possibly even the planet with the most potent four pot ever to be produced and driving dynamics that can put sports cars to shame. This is definitely a very hot hatch in its own right. But at seven figures worth of a price, is it really worth it in our country? And can you actually daily it? Time to find out the right way. We're going to be taking it out for coffee, pondering around the city and also be taking it to Raftar, which is Pune's newest go-kart track. A very nice go-kart track that I'm really looking forward to go to. So without further ado, let's go. So the A45S was always at the top of the hatchback game worldwide. It has never ever been a unimpressive car by any means. It's only got one uh, worldwide competitor which is the RS3 which has the legendary Daza engine that we all love at TDH. But this block is pretty much the epitome of what you could get from factory. It is to its limit and you would imagine that that would make it a kind of difficult car to live with but not really it is a really tractable engine that is rather comfortable pondering around and even the gearbox it's a very nice smooth sensation in comfort mode on the streets the car is pretty much what you would expect from a small hatchback and yes there are a couple of issues it is rather stiff but you would expect that from a hot hatch and it is quite low for our countries so when you've got rather big speed bumps you would like to take them side on because you really don't know if the front overhang is going to take it or not because it is quite long and another thing about driving this car is that it is very unassuming uh, to most people so if uh, you're just driving by in a busy street most people will just move on with their day but the guys that really appreciate cars and stuff they look at it and go wow and that's a cool feeling if uh, you're into that stuff however on the daily it could get a little annoying that the suspension is slightly on the stiffer side and uh, yeah moving on to rough roads can be a little bit of a daunting task but still the engine and the way it drives is very livable with it's a smooth block and it doesn't really have any form of intimidating uh, character to it unless you stamp on the throttle in any mode because even a slight hint of the throttle it revs up and then it goes wild that's another thing about having a massive turbo uh, in the car because now all of that spool is going to be quite late and all of that spool is going to happen really aggressively so yeah it is a rather nice experience and some people might enjoy the fact that it's got lag some people might uh, appreciate more linear engines but this car has those two different characters to them so you can actually just chill below 3000 3000 rpm you can just chill around there and it's going to be a very comfortable car to drive so there is hardly any noise coming from it because of all the catalytic converter and everything so you can just chill about in traffic but when you get an open patch you just need to and the car is just a different animal so on the daily, this can really be that little bit of joy from uh, your home till your office. All in all, 
when you drive it on the daily it is still an a class at the end of the day and you get those added benefits of it being a nimble car a small car and it being capable of fitting into tiny spaces just as i am about to show you guys But before getting to my coffee, I want to talk to you about the interior of the A45S. I feel Mercedes has one of the best interiors out of the German trio and it really immerses you in the I'm in a sports car state of mind especially in the AMG variants. The seat hugs you tight, the steering is proper chunky and you've got the same steering wheel as the E63 so it is filled with knobs and buttons to change the settings of your car. Now, while it might look fantastic, there are some issues. The capacitive touch buttons in the steering wheel are easy to press by mistake so while driving it could get annoying and instead of the touchpad in the center console now there is an empty space that is smaller than a phone what was the idea behind this i don't know but overall this interior is really special Let's be honest, the A45S definitely looks the part with its slim profile tires, massive 19-inch AMG wheels, a super low stance and a massive wing at the back. It definitely screams speed. But a few things didn't settle well with me in terms of design with this specific car, which are uh, the window sills that are chrome and even the door handles. They kind of remove the sporty aspect from the aesthetics of the car which kind of put you off but that's me nitpicking and this car is actually meant for performance so let's talk just about that but in the most fitting place the race track ha that's more like it the right place to test the A45S's performance here at Raftar pretty much Pune's latest and greatest go-kart track. If you've ever got free time and you want to get a good go-karting experience, it doesn't get better than Raftar. Check them out and definitely come over to Raftar and get yourself some good lap times. Now, time to talk about performance. I think it's time for you to leave. So, this is my forte basically and I'm going to open up the engine bay to show you what is the most powerful 2 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged engine in the world this is the M139 engine from Mercedes Benz uh, and like i said 2 liters of displacement a big q turbocharger right there at the back and four cylinders in an inline so this thing is one of the most power dense blocks that has ever come out of any factory and when you go for uh, power to per liter this thing is 208 horsepower per liter which is absolutely nuts it makes 416 horsepower uh, in this s trim and it makes 500 newton meters of torque which is connected to a dct gearbox and a formatic all-wheel drive system this engine is pretty much as race car it can get it has forged pistons forged connecting rods it has uh, an electronically controlled uh, dual split wastegate. It has a twin scroll turbocharger and it has a lot of more gizmos and things all around it just to make this one of the craziest engines that can ever be made. And yeah, it is a proper powerhouse. In terms of tuning, well, this is not most people's forte because this is a high compression engine and it's pretty much maxed out from the factory but there are some crazy people around the world who can actually work on these things and once they're worked on yeah it is absolutely nuts there is some dude in south africa who's been able to tune this thing and it does a 10.4 second quarter mile time which is absolutely ridiculous so i think so that's enough of the engine talk i think it's time to get into the seat and see how it is Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Let's see what the A45 can do on this little go-kart track. It is a little bit big for this place. The best part about the A45 is, is that it feels like a go-kart. And in these tight twisty corners, this 4MATIC system is really helping me maneuver this car around these tight twisties. And when you're on the corner exit, you can just go full throttle because of the insane grip that the 4MATIC system gives you. And let's come to the engine, the most powerful production four-cylinder ever made. And on this track, it's a little bit out of its comfort zone because it's such a tight and twisty technical track. Uh, and the power delivery is all up high in the rev range, so it is a little difficult to extract all of that insane 400 plus horsepower that it has. But I mean, when you get onto the main straight over here, Oh my god! <laughs> and the sound it makes is insanity! And the brakes are insane! It takes a little bit of time for them to, you know, start getting a little better because you need some sort of heat in them. But yeah, once it starts getting the bite in, woof! And that stiff suspension that might be a little bit of a drawback on the road completely makes up for it on the track. Because on these corners, in these tight, twisty, technical sections, it is gripping like a scared baby to its mom. I mean, that's how insane the grip is. <laughs> that is insane and it's addictive. So, now that we've gotten the basics out, I am in race mode with sport traction on. I'm not turning traction completely off. Let's see if we can do a hot lap and see how it compares to my go-kart uh, timing that I did. Of course, not really comparable. But yeah. Oof. Nigala, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, if 
you want to know how the A45S fared on the Raftar go kart track, the reel is already up on our Instagram. So make sure to check it out and also follow us on Instagram and help us reach 50,000 followers over there. Also make sure to follow Raftar on Instagram to know more about the track. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are nearing 100,000 subscribers. So help us reach this amazing milestone for more such epic content. After a really nice day with the A45S and a rather sad ending thanks to this idiot, I am quite confident at the fact that this car is very dailyable. You're not going to be really bothered with how committed and sporty the car is if you're aware of how to drive a sports car on the daily. It's actually just that little bit more practical than an outright sports car. But the price tag of a crore plus can be daunting to even the people that can afford it. But the thing is, that price tag is justified to an extent because a lot of people tend to compare this with a 340i but this definitely feels more special than a M340i and it's all in the name. The M340i is not an M product whereas this is an outright proper AMG. A proper baby AMG. It's not an A35, it's an A45S and when you drive both of those cars back to back I'm pretty sure you can instantly feel the difference. When it comes to driving this thing at the limit, well of course this is not like its natural habitat because this tra uh, track is a little bit too small for it but still uh, over here it was completely fine. I mean the 4MATIC system was perfect on corner exits and everything you could just smack the throttle in and it would just grip and go. The DCT gearbox was super snappy, it did not hesitate to uh, shift down, shift up, nothing of, the, uh, of that sort, no sort of, you know, niggles or anything of that sort from the gearbox and yeah, the engine, it is wild, it is, yeah, it is very addictive once you start, you know, just playing with the power because the thing is the the power delivery is very old school. I mean, it's a big turbo, so it takes some time for it to, you know, spool up and give you that punch. And once it does, I mean, it is insanity. The way this thing picks up speed, it is just wild. I think so it does like a 11.9 second quarter mile from the factory stock. Stock. And this thing is a little hatchback. Yeah, that is absolutely nuts. So in terms of the special factor, it definitely is there. And I mean, look at this. It says AMG a falter back over here, it's not even Mercedes. And once you open up the engine bay, our boy from Germany has hand built it for us. So yeah, there are some small little details here and there which definitely do justify that insane price tag for an insane car. So I think so that's it for this video. This has been an insane experience with the A45S AMG. Uh, shout out to Mercedes Benz India for sending it over to us and shout out to the boys at Raftar as well. So if you're looking to go-kart for the weekend, that is your spot in Pune. So thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below and follow us on Instagram and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.